Today marks the fourth anniversary of the liberation of the city of Jibrail. On this occasion, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to you, all the people of Jibrail, and the entire Azerbaijani nation. We are celebrating this significant event today, four years later, in Jibrail. As you may know, October 4th was designated as Jibrail City Day by my order. I am confident that we will continue to observe this wonderful day annually. The liberation of Jibrail holds great significance, as it was the first city freed from occupation during the Second Karabakh War. By that time, the war had been ongoing for a week, with nearly 20 villages, including those in the Jibrail district, already liberated. However, Jibrail was the first city to be reclaimed, and the Jibrail operation was of special importance. Our army displayed immense professionalism and heroism, driving the occupiers out of Jibrail. May Allah bless all our martyrs. The Azerbaijani armed forces demonstrated true courage, dedication, and valor during the Patriotic War, and we will forever be proud of our martyrs. Of course, the liberation of Jibrail not only positively impacted the course of the war, but also boosted the morale of both our army and our nation. We all believed that this victory would ultimately lead to our triumph, and with the liberation of each settlement and city, that belief only grew stronger. A few days after Jibrail, the successful Hadrat operation was conducted, showcasing great professionalism. The enemy had heavily fortified positions in the area, particularly on all high grounds, including Jibrail. To liberate the city, our brave soldiers had to break through several defense lines, and they succeeded. Following Hadrut, the Fuzuli operation was successfully completed on October 17th, opening the way to Shusha, Sangilan, and Gabardli. From that point, the victorious march of our army advanced even more rapidly. As I mentioned earlier, we liberated key areas, including the cities and districts of Jibrail, Hadrut, Fuzuli, Zangilan, Gubadli, and several villages in the Lachin district. Finally, on November 8, we liberated the city of Shusha. In total, over 300 cities and villages were liberated on the battlefield. Thus, Armenia was forced to sign the Capitulation Act on November 10. Thus, the history of the Second Karabakh War are ended with our victory. Today, the entire Azerbaijani people live with a deep sense of gratitude toward our heroic children. And the younger generation, raised in the spirit of patriotism, was able to reclaim the lands that we once lost for the people and state. Shortly after the liberation of Jibrail, all relevant orders for the development of the city were issued. First, Demining operations had to be carried out, as the regions near the former line of contact were heavily mined. Infrastructure projects began immediately, and today, anyone visiting Jibrail can see that the old road, once used during Soviet times, has been rebuilt. And I remember this road well. Since the victory, I have traveled this road many times to visit these regions. A new four-lane highway is successfully under construction and will extend to Zangilan, Gubardli, and eventually Lachin. The implementation of other infrastructure projects is on track successfully and swiftly, not only in Jibrail, but throughout the liberated regions. While here yesterday, we celebrated the opening of a new school, and you know that starting next week, children will attend classes. This new neighborhood also includes plans for a hospital and a temporary medical facility. The beautiful houses being built here not only demonstrate the strength of our state, but also show that the Azerbaijani government is doing everything in its power to ensure that the living conditions of former IDPs meet appropriate standards. In the first neighborhood, 33 multi-apartment buildings have been constructed, with a total of 712 apartments being built here. Some of these apartments have already been handed over and others are scheduled to be commissioned in the coming months. Thus, the first new residential area in the city of Jibrail is being inaugurated. I can say that the ongoing work in the liberated territories is of a special nature. 
unprecedented in its scale. No other country that has experienced from occupation or war has managed to carry out rebuilding works with such speed and quality, because this work is being done according to comprehensive and precise plans. Master plans for every city have been approved. All necessary infrastructure is being considered for every village. Yesterday, I reviewed the reconstruction of Horovlu village, which, like the city of Jabrail, was liberated on the same day. In a few months, likely in the first half of next year, residents will return to Horovlu. However, our work doesn't stop there. We are also addressing employment for those returning. Yesterday alone, I laid the foundation stones for five new enterprises in the Jibrail district. Previously, about 10 enterprises had their foundations laid in the Araz Valley Industrial Zone, one of which is already operational. The enterprises I laid the foundation for yesterday will employ over a thousand people. I advised the entrepreneurs who founded these enterprises to ensure that the majority of the workforce consists of former IDPs who have returned or will return to Jabrail. Thus, we are providing not only housing and infrastructure, water, gas, electricity, roads, schools, and hospitals, but also employment opportunities. The operations of the enterprises I laid the foundation for yesterday are planned to begin next year. Perhaps some of the enterprises will have a broader scope and will come to fruition in a year and a half. In other words, all this work once again shows that the true owners of this land have returned. The treacherous enemy has only destroyed these territories for 30 years. Our meeting is also among these ruins. Bak, bizim bu görüşümüz de bu dağıntılar arasındadır.